splendid. And this is another edition of the GTV Dance Sport Championships. I'm here in the ballroom of the Fontainebleau Hotel in Miami with dance champion Linda Wakefield. And Linda, I guess we really are going to see a superstar dance team tonight, huh? Indeed we are, Hal. It's Bob Powers and Julia Gorchakova. And Hal, let me tell you a little bit about what makes them so special. Please. Their reputation speaks for itself. Well known to dance sport competitors and followers alike, seven times open professional rhythm champions, Bob Powers and Julia Gorchakova. Since their appearance on the dance scene in 1992, no one has been able to come close to their commanding presence. Taking risks with their innovative moves has paid off in spades. Always in top form, Bob and Julia refuse to rest on their laurels. They feed off their competitive instincts. And they are prepared in every possible way. Preparation is the mark of a champion. Yes. They certainly sound very special. And we have a very special person standing backstage right now. Three-time U.S. Latin champion, Rick Valenzuela. Rick, do you think there's anyone out there tonight that can give Bob and Julia a run for their money? In the years that I've seen Julia and Bob as champions, I have never seen them seriously challenged on the floor. If anyone is going to put a little bit of heat behind them, it would be last year's runners-up, John Abrams and Adriana Chessa. They have challenged them in a couple of dances here and there throughout the year, but again, I don't think they pose a serious threat. What Bob and Julia are out to do tonight is to break some records. As far as American rhythm is concerned, they've already done that by winning it seven consecutive times. In addition to that, our colleague Gary McDonald has a record of his own. He and his wife Diana have won the United States 10 Dance Championships eight times. Bob and Julia are out to tie that tonight. Well, thank you, Rick. You know, there's, there's one problem about being a superstar. Mm, what's that? It's like being, you know, fastest gun in the West. There's always somebody <laughs> waiting in the wings trying to take a shot at you. The Yankees finally lost and Joe Lewis was defeated. Nothing lasts forever. And right now we have a whole line of contenders waiting for their chance to unseat the champions and take the title for themselves. Linda, what dances will they be doing? We'll start off with the cha-cha. From its Cuban origin, we'll see lots of hip action, body speed, and syncopated footwork. Next is the rumba, based on a simple box step. It portrays a flirtatious feel between man and woman. Wing, the most American of all the dances, incorporating Lindy and West Coast Swing. Bolero is next, the ultimate dance of romance with slow, fluid, dramatic lines and movement. And Mambo finishes up the competition, very fast paced and always a showstopper. I'm pretty excited about seeing all of that, and we will right after this message. 